you've also uh, been following up uh, for us a story that we had. We met a remarkable woman last year who was saving some bears. Yeah, yeah. Her name's Mary Hutton. She's certainly an inspiring lady. Um, she's from Perth. She's dedicated her life to saving bears. And recently we've travelled to Vietnam to witness some world first surgeries that are helping the remarkable animals in Mary's care. And just a warning, some people may find some of the following footage disturbing. This is what Perth grandma Mary Hutton has been fighting for for 15 years. Bears is she just lovely? To free bears from cruelty around the world and put an end to their suffering. All of our bears we've saved, they're very special. They mean everything to us. We can't do enough for them once we, once we get them. It's here in Vietnam, Mary feels there's the greatest need for help, where nearly 5,000 moon bears are trapped in bile farms, kept locked in tiny cages and milked for bile through needles into their gallbladders. They're prisoners of a multi-billion dollar black market trade. The bears are kept in very small cages so they can't move, they're never let out, they never see the sunlight or the light of day and they're just incarcerated for the whole of their lives. For these bears, they're highly intelligent animals. It's basically like taking your pet dog that you love and, and sticking it in a kennel for the rest of its life. And, yeah, that's quite a lot of suffering. Bear bile is a traditional remedy thought to cure everything from arthritis to hangovers. These days, a synthetic alternative is available. But despite this, the trade and the cruelty goes on. At Free the Bears Mekong Delta Sanctuary, Rescued bile farm bears learn to be bears again, but sadly, a marker of their pasts remain. Up to 37% of these bears will then go on to develop really nasty, malignant liver and gallbladder tumours and die from that disease. The damaged gallbladders need to be removed. It's usually done through painful abdominal surgery, but today, a small vet team has flown in from around the world to perform world-first keyhole surgery on Mary's beloved bears. We don't want bears to suffer any more than they have to, simply the reason because when they come to us, they've suffered enough. At 125 kilos, Map Boo is one of the bigger patients the team will operate on. There's that big white patch, which is where a needle has previously been stuck through this bear's abdomen, through the liver and into the, into the gallbladder, and doing that repeatedly is what causes these bears all their problems. After more than two hours, it's finally over and the surgery is a success. Well, that's the operation finished. Everything's gone really well, just as well as we hoped. Um, it all looks good inside there, and I'm just going to close up now. Each of the bears Mary and her team have saved so far acts as a reminder of the end goal. Ultimately, I'd like to see all the farms closed down. I might not live to see that, but if I do, it'll be the best day of my life. And in the meantime, the lucky ones in the sanctuary will continue to enjoy the very best life their carers can give them. Absolutely, it is a long road, but we'll get there. People say you're battling upstream, but we've got very large paddles. <laughs> the wonderful work that Mary's doing, and if you want to help out, go to our website. All the details are there. All right, that's all we've got time for tonight. Big thanks to Dr Chris Brown for coming back, and Lucy McDonald, wonderful Absolutely. to have her in. Ten Slate News at 11 o'clock tonight. Biggest loser up next. Good night. Good night.